Hello again and welcome back to another one. And just like the title says, a lot has happened since Eminem dropped the side B of Music To Be Murdered By. But before we get to it, I'd love to break the ice with this from the New York Post that states, Eminem gives no respect to Paul McCartney with surprise album release. And today we'll be exploring how Eminem associates, artists, and even those from outside the hip hop genre like MGK have reacted to Eminem's release so far. In fact, it's been less than a year since he left the genre and his knowledge on hip hop is already lacking and we'll be getting to that later, including some posts from Snoop Dogg that have raised some eyebrows. As we dive in, if this content is up your street, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell, and find me on social media at interlifestyle underscore web. So after Associates teased fans for weeks leading up to Eminem's release, the now Porter, who like many others close to Eminem, got bombarded with questions before this release. So he tweeted about the album stating, Good morning, music to be murdered by Side B, out now, laughing emoji. It was all fun trolling, but I remember some fans adding their names to a hunting list if no album dropped, so that could be a nervous laugh for all we know. Jokes aside, moving on to what I covered in the last video on Snoop getting a response from Eminem for that infamous interview, a few recent posts on IG has raised some eyebrows. For instance, he posted this a few hours ago. Back in the day, if someone hated you, it meant you did something wrong. Nowadays, it means you did something right. And under the post, the most popular responses so far are from those who believe this is about Eminem. One user states, is this about M? Another user adds, you need to make an apology, sir. But it goes from 0 to 100 real quick. Pick up the phone or pick up the mic. Don't be turning your trigger fingers to Twitter fingers, dog. But some don't believe it's related to M since Snoop posted this right after Ice-T on IG. But just before Snoop posted the quote, he posted this picture of Michael Jackson. And one user sums up what came to my mind when I first saw the post. You wanna be starting something. And under the post, it was also linked to Eminem, one user stated, Yo, Eminem dissed you, are you gonna respond? Now moving on, one of the leading proponents of the new Eminem album rumors was Paige Kennedy. He even instigated the rumor that Cardi B and Eminem had something in the works when he responded to Cardi's tweet that stated, I got something very exciting to share with y'all tomorrow. To which he replied, so about that fit? And now on the Snoop Dogg drama, he stated, damn, I wonder what Snoop gon' say now. And moving on, Cole Bennett dropped this after the cat was out of the bag. New video with Eminem out now, it's a beautiful thing when you get to recreate nostalgic moments with your childhood heroes. And if you followed this channel, you know Cole also added his fair bit to the hype with some teasers. And Madge, who was featured on the song These Demons, also had this to say. I just want to say thank you to my idols slash legends, Paul and Eminem, for this crazy opportunity. Go stream the album I'm featured on track 10. And on this channel, we'll be going into more detail about the significance of this particular song. Coming soon, be on the lookout for that one. And Proof Son Wanna Son believes he'll make Eminem's next project. He dropped this. I'm getting on the next one, Marshall. He said the same thing on the Eminem's post on IG, just in case y'all didn't hear it the first time. So watch out. And moving on, we can't forget the master of engagement, King Crook. He says he's saving the discussion about the album for later today, but he's still engaged in some discussions. For instance, when Last told him his faves from the album where I Will and Zeus, and also when a fan dropped this. What do you think of the people who just listen to music to find faults with it? Like they pick some line that the rapper said as a joke, then they take it out of context and try to represent it as corny slash cringe, and they always target lyricists, to which Crook agrees with, yup. And this alludes to how Eminem started Zeus, they call him trash, but listen to artists that don't even qualify as lyricists and give this artist a pass for trash lyrics all the time. But it fits a pattern, especially when we're talking about Eminem, and even Crook highlighted this in a recent interview with Hot New Hip Hop just days ago where he stated, Eminem is always in the talks, I don't care, they love to hate him, and a lot of people have been trying to push my homie out of the culture. They've been making sly remarks people with platforms. And moving on, MGK reacted with this, those subliminals, laughing and trash emoji. Sit tight, I'm about to break this down and I'll take you back. You can be a permanent fixture in my lyrical mixture. Since MGK has been a fan since childhood, 
you would think he would have known all this before going at Eminem in the beginning, since everyone who went back and forth with Eminem pretty much becomes part of his rhyme punching bag, and the user sets this straight since MGK forgot. M mentions everyone he's ever had beef with, it's fun for him to be petty. E mentioned Ja, and that ish is 20 years old. You'll be a target for the rest of his career, that's just how it goes. So Kels can take the time to go perform Lose Yourself in Detroit. But for some reason, miss the part where you become a permanent fixture in M's lyrics if you go against him. And arguably the most popular Eminem fan on this platform responded to Kels stating, I bet you won't respond. And the savages were lurking under this post ready to pounce. And even if he does, what's next? Country? Wow. But MGK's hip hop knowledge is already getting called into question since Eminem straight up mentioned him so he doesn't qualify as a subliminal if everyone knows and the user on Reddit for instance states weren't really subliminals when he mentioned him by name to which another user adds they are not subs if he's name dropping you. This is why earlier at the start of the video I stated that when it comes to hip hop Kels is getting rusty. And this continues just a few days after Kels admitted that his album flopped because of the feud with Eminem, but more power to him now that he's comfy in pop punk. That will be all, comment below and see you on the next one.